Dubé, Wick Uyatmahan, Jesse Pluard, Kodet Nahoki Otana E. Waklisi, Gawasasis. Nishina Shaisluan, Koroko Kuichin, Shaisluan Fly. like basketry or arrowheads. There's a little bit of our, our spirit, our, our being, that goes into that item. And it's uh, become a shared history um, with everybody that lives in this land. Oregon's rich history dates back well before the Lewis and Clark expedition of 1804. To truly appreciate the people and cultures that define Oregon's past, one must go back more than 10,000 years. Today, these same cultures, made up of nine federally recognized sovereign tribes, continue to contribute to Oregon. When you think about Lewis and Clark, and, uh, and when they first came through this area, they described this area as untouched, vast wilderness that, that nobody had ever really, you know, almost like it was brand new even though tribal people have been living here for 13,000 years. We can date our history back, you know, many, many generations beyond the treaty era. And I think that just going back to those places and continuing our lives there keeps us in that sense of place. It's who we are and, and who we'll continue to be. The likelihood of discovering cultural and historic sites increases exponentially when fighting fire. The use of tools we use to put fires out could potentially uncover irreplaceable cultural items. This is why you, as firefighters, must take reasonable precautions when discovering these sites during a wildfire. I realize it's difficult when you're on a fire, um, you know, to think about those type of things. I mean, you're you have a job, you have a set of things you're supposed to do for the day, a set of tasks, and you can do your job and you can uh, protect resources at the same time. It's all about um, securing that scene. I can just imagine, I mean, I've been in that situation where you're out by yourself scouting a line or doing something like that. You're ahead of the group of people that you're working with and you do maybe find something or stumble across. So the biggest thing is just being able to protect that scene, secure, pass that information up to your line officer, and get that information to the professionals that can come in and actually secure that scene and do what's needed to protect that, the context of that scene. The things that we find in the ground and the things that we see um, on the trees, under the trees, um, are just really, really important. That's how we know where village sites were, that's where we, how we know how, where different kinds of sites were, by what we find in the archaeological sites. The law preserves and protects Oregon's cultural heritage. Removing or damaging cultural artifacts or disturbing cultural sites is punishable with fines up to $10,000. So how do we know if something has value or significance? Historic archaeological items are anything left over by people, period. So if they're 75 years of age or older, they're historic. Either pre-contact or historic artifacts. And pre-contact artifacts, um, what is left are typically stone artifacts because many of the tools that were used by indigenous people were made out of plant material or animal bone or antler that has all biodegraded. And so what you're left with is the stone tools like arrowheads, projectile points, scrapers, grinding tools uh, for processing food. All sorts of things can be learned from archeological deposits, including uh, the ranges of dates, occupation of that site or use of it. Um, what sorts of activities were going on there. Historic artifacts can also include items not typically associated with Native American cultures. 
Things like tin cans, glass bottles, and logging equipment and cables are just a few examples that help define Oregon's past. This is about a continuum of human beings and their material culture that they've left behind and, and it's really not all that separated because we really have a shared history because we're all human beings. And so, beyond the monetary penalties under the law, all Oregonians can agree that the personal violation cuts much deeper. An individual made that and their spirit is attached to that item. And so when people take those things, they're not just taking away from the history of that specific location, they're taking away that person's spirit from that location. In the ground, on the ground, is the DNA of my people, is the cremations associated with these cultural sites of my ancestors. When you ask a human of any race how he feels about his family's burials, there's always an emotional level. There's always a personal connection because it's us, because it's my five great grandpa, because it's my five great grandmother. And even though I didn't get to meet them, I have a connection a spiritual, a religious connection with those people and the earth. When items are removed, then it uh, creates a um, disconnection between the energy of the living and the energy of the ancestors. And, and so we um, advocate for cultural items being kept in place. Should you or your crew come upon a suspected archaeological site or human remains, report your findings to your line supervisor. If possible, avoid any further disturbance within 100 feet of the discovery. Do not, under any circumstances, share your findings with the public or media. First and foremost, definitely want to thank the firefighters for the work that they are doing to help protect our lands and our people. So what I would ask for them to do while they are um, out on the landscape is, you know, Definitely do your job. Fire suppression is the number one duty there. But if you do see something, say something to a supervisor. Make sure that that information gets conveyed to the tribe and the State Historic Preservation Office so we can record um, that particular archaeological site. Remember, archaeological objects and sites are confidential. Protecting them is critical. Do your part to protect Oregon's valued history. For more information, contact either the State Historic Preservation Office, the Legislative Commission on Indian Services, or the Oregon Department of Forestry.